So the Pakistani minister has actually uh, threatened a nuclear retaliation to Israel's defense minister. So, well, it turned out to be what he was responding to is actually fake. And I really want to bring this guy, bring this to your attention because of how stupid the people even in power can be. So he said this on Twitter, he said, quote, Israeli defense minister threatens nuclear retaliations, presuming pa Pakistan's role in Syria against the Daesh. The minister who wrote on his official Twitter account using an Arabic acronym for the Islamic State. Israel forgets Pakistan is a nuclear state, too. Uh, the New York Times reporting on this says, Mr. Asif appeared to be reacting to a fake news article published on awdnews.com. That story with the typo-laden headline, uh, quote, Israeli Defense Minister, if Pakistan sent ground troops to Syria on any pretext, we will destroy this country with a nuclear attack, appeared on the website on December 20th, alongside articles with headlines like Clinton is staging a military coup against Trump. Okay, so... I want you guys to take that in. The news this guy took was from a random website known as awdnews.com. It's one thing to get a story wrong that you personally could not uh, dissect from maybe the New York Times or the Washington Post or The Hill or Raw, Raw Story, whatever it is, right? That's a different story. But in this case, I mean, this is way worse. You took it from a random-ass website that nobody knows. And when you see a random website, you automatically have to red flag it and check it from other websites. And when people in power are falling for fake news and they have the power to attack or to do this type of stuff, you know we're in trouble. And when I say trouble, I mean big trouble. When people this stupid are in power, I mean, it's just scary, dude. I mean, these people are idiots.